Good morning guys, so I am a bit crazy and I decided to do a get ready with me for my first like official day of uni um, and my first official day of uni features at 9am so it's currently 10 to 8 in the morning and I don't know why I decided to do this but this is my first video that I filmed in this room this is my new uni room this year um, so I'm sorry if the light is a bit weird my, I've got my studio lights but my window's like there and the sun was coming in and yeah so if it's a bit weird I'm sorry and also I live in the middle of the city now so if there's any background noise I'm sorry about that but anyway let's get started so the first thing I used was this e.l.f. Um, face primer now I'm going on to eyebrows and this is the Benefits Goof Proof Eye Pencil Brow Pencil, sorry not eye pencil I'm just gonna like fill in my eyebrows So My uni story is kind of a bit of a long one So I was here last year at the same uni doing the same class um, But then Basically I got ill so I had to leave um, in March so I never actually finished the year I never actually did any summer to pieces so they let me just restart the year again this year so I'm a fresher again which I mean I guess it's a perk of being ill but like you know ideally everything would have gone well last year but never mind I might do a more in depth story about my first year at uni at one point but I'm not like ready for that yet so we're gonna have to wait for that but <laughs> so I've been here for it's a Monday today so a week and a bit it's like a week and a weekend um and it's been fresh this week and I did the same as I did last year which was go out three nights in a row for the weekend the first weekend and then just completely tire myself out so much that I then can't go out for the rest of the week. So that was great, but <laughs> I was going to go out on Wednesday, but I got ill and I just couldn't face going out. I wasn't feeling good at all. Um, this is the Maybelline Brow Drama. Brow Sculpting Scar, that's what it's called. Oh no, I just got it on my duvet because But like, I think it was a bit of, it might have been a bit of freshest flu. But then again, it might have just been um, a bug that was going around at home like, just before I left. But that was bad. It felt horrible. But I'm feeling better now. I just, I feel like I'm sound so weird in this video and it's probably just because I've like, just woken up so <laughs> sorry about that but I mean it's early in the morning I'm sorry about my makeup skills oh my god in the camera my eyebrows look really dark do my eyebrows actually look dark like that no they're fine I'll sort them out later if I need to oh yeah I'm sorry about my makeup skills they're not the best but I just kind of do my makeup how I do it so, <laughs> um, this is the Benefit Hula Quickie Contour Stick, I think it's called. And I'm just going to shiver it on my face and hope for the best. But, um, where is it? Oh, there it is. Then I have my Bourjois Healthy Mix Anti concealer put under my eyes which I feel like I need right now yeah I need right now it's been really weird trying to get used to like living in the middle of a city because like I live in a village and um, 
moving to the center of the city it's like loud and also my blinds don't block out that much light so i had to like get an eye mask and stuff and i have some earplugs but i don't know I, it's really hard to get them to stay in my ears so it's just annoying but yeah like i remember the first night i got back from going out i was so tired oh my god and yeah, I'm just thinking about it. I was so tired that I only made it out until like half one. I remember that at about 5 a.m. there was like, I don't even know what happened, but there were like five police sirens like outside my window. So that was fun. And it was like my first night, so I didn't really know. <laughs> didn't really know what to expect, but yeah, there was like a police chase. But, I mean, I've kind of got used to the sirens now Because there were quite a lot of sirens being in the middle of the city I mean, they were always going to be, but I never really like thought about it um, But yeah So Now I'm using my beauty blender My Real Techniques beauty sponge, sorry To just blend it all out And hope for the best Hopefully it'll be fine. I keep looking at the viewfinder. I'm sorry about that. I'm trying to look at the lens. But I never, I'm using my vlog camera. And I never use my vlog camera for videos like this. Um, so I keep looking at the viewfinder. So if you didn't know what course I do, I do fashion management, which is basically like fashion but like the businessy side of fashion so my university has like a school of art and design with like fashion stuff in it and it has a school of business and it's kind of like a mix of them both even though we're in the school of art and design but we do use like business school resources sometimes because we're like a businessy subject but also a kind of creative subject ow I hurt my thumb while I was trying to cook. You can see that. It hurts so bad. And I just stuck it to my mirror. Ow. Anyway. Um, so, because I did the course last year, I kind of know what I'm doing. I mean, they're doing it differently this year. Like, they just improved it. And improved the timetable and stuff. Um, so it is slightly different in the way it's set out but I think it will be, um, it'll be better and like, I, can, I know what to expect this year so it's just a bit easier for me. Did I even tell you what concealer I'm using? I don't think I did. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Concealer. If you've been watching my videos for a while, then you'll know that this is the concealer that I use like every day and I have for like three years or something. But how long have I had my YouTube channel? I've had my YouTube channel for five years, so probably about four and a half years that I've used this concealer for. Because I'm pretty sure I used it basically more or less from the start of my channel. But I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that because I don't know. Um, that'll do. So now I need my Kat Von D translucent powder. What's it actually called? Lock it setting powder in translucent. I just use that to like bake my face a bit. Um, but. I'm actually quite excited to get started with lectures again because I actually really like lectures. I didn't like seminars as much but that might be different this year because I feel like the main reason that I didn't like seminars was because of my seminar group. I just, I just didn't get on very well and then halfway through the year I changed seminar group. Halfway through the year I changed seminar groups but it was a bit like they'd already settled and then there was me and yeah it's a bit of a long story but anyway 
I might enjoy selling ours more this year if I like settle in better at the start which I feel like I have I feel like I've settled in way better like at the start than I did last year um, so I'm using the NYX eyeshadow base in white just to prime my eyelids just by the way but yeah I feel like I've settled in better at the start so I think that's going to be a good sign for the rest of the rest of the um yeah wood. I don't think that's even wood we would honestly don't know what material my room's made of oh wait this is wood so once I've actually finished my, my room once I've finished decorating it there will be a uni room tour hopefully um, it won't take as long as last shit did <laughs> but there we go I need to finish it how I want it and then I can film my room tour and upload it I also, like just before I left for uni, I filmed a room tour of my room at home which I need to edit and upload and I also filmed a secondary school experience video so basically a video about my um, experience from year 7 to 9 and how that was for me and stuff I don't know if I'm going to upload that or not. I'm going to edit it and see if I like it. And if I do, then I will upload it. But I'll have to see. I'll have to edit that. Um, these videos were supposed to be up like last week. But then Fesha's week just kind of took over. And I never edited anything. So that happened. Uh, <laughs> I also kind of filmed like a moving in vlog of me moving in but it kind of failed because I just forgot to vlog because I was just so like busy with moving in and everything that I kind of forgot so that didn't really work out so well so yeah I don't think that's going to go up because it's basically just a couple of clips but I might use some of that footage in my room tour just like before and after Oh yeah, I didn't actually tell you what I'm doing. I'm just using the Naked Basics palette from Urban Decay. And on my lid I use the shade Venus. And the crease here I'm just using a mix of the shades Naked 2 and Faint. I'm just doing a simple eye look today because I couldn't be bothered to do a more complicated one. So. I was gonna use like a different palette, like maybe the Too Faced Sweet Peach, but then I've just picked this one up, so I'm using it. I guess this is kind of my everyday makeup routine a bit. Oh wow, this needs to be blended out more. I'll do that in a minute. That'll do. <laughs> this is what I do when I do my eyeshadow, I just like mess around with it. And then I'm just like, that'll do fine, that'll be fine, that'll do. I just have to like clean it up and everything. And it'll be fine. Sometimes I like put loads of effort into my eyeshadow and then some of just can't be bothered. And sometimes I don't even wear eyeshadow. Now I'm using Faint and Naked 2 Mix. Just underneath my eye. A little bit. The other day I had Welcome Moments for the first time and it was so good. So good. I mean it's quite expensive. But, I mean it's not that expensive but like it's expensive like compared to like um, you know McDonald's or something like that. But um, it was really good. I'd never had it before and now I just want to go again. But I just know that um, if anyone came from home to visit me, then they wouldn't want to go to Wagamama's. Like, my boyfriend wouldn't go to Wagamama's. There wouldn't be, I don't think there'll be anything that he'd eat there. 
And then obviously my sister also, there wouldn't be anything she would eat. I don't know about my parents, but I just, I just don't know if they would go to somewhere like that, if I don't know. Actually, there might be something that my sister would eat. Maybe. But there wouldn't be anything that Jack would eat. Let's be real. Sorry, Jack. He doesn't like it when I talk about him in videos. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, now I'm just putting on the Venus shade onto my lid again. Just to kind of like, you know, put it there and put it into my inner corner. And a little bit on the brow bone as well. That'll do. That'll do. Okay. Now for bronzer. I am going to use my Benefit Hula Bronzer. Just tap my brush in a bit. There's my mirror. I just kind of do it in like the kind of three kind of formation. Is it a formation? I don't know. But I, I do it in the three thing. A little bit because I already used the quickie contour stick, but this is just kind of like, yeah. There we go. Oh, something I forgot to do earlier was lip balm. I'll get that. So I'm using the EOS lip balm. I think this is in summer fruit. Oh, I think this is in summer fruits, but I'm almost out of it. But I left all my other EOS lip balms at home, so. This better not run out before I go home because uh, I use this under lipsticks. That's what I use it for underneath lipsticks. And I feel like I feel like it's just a really good um, lip balm for underneath lipsticks and stuff. Now I'm taking a small brush and brushing off the powder because the powder's been there for a while now, so. Now I have to decide what blush to use, and I have no idea. Okay, um, you know what, I'm going to use the Emmyway Blusher in Candy Floss. It's just a really nice kind of light pinky purpley-ish colour. So I'm using that blush with my blush brush. Blush brush, blush brush. I love seeing that. And I'm just getting like a light touch of that because it's like anyway, brushes are very pigmented, so and I just smile. Someone just came out of their room, I think it was one opposite me. And I always wonder, can they hear me? I never know if they can, like, I mean, I guess you can certainly hear people in the cor corridor, but not very much. I mean, unless you're paying attention, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, um, now I'm using a highlighter and this is the Mary Luminize by The Balm and I'm just taking a fan brush. Just on my cheekbones and my nose. And now for setting spray. So I use the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray when I can get the lid off. Um, spray that all over my face. I feel like I put way too much on, but <laughs> that's what I do. Um, and then I just wait for that to like sink in. Okay, so now that's kind of all sunk in, I'm going to do my eyelashes. Because I always think, right, I could do my eyelashes before I set my face with setting spray. But I would always do that in the past, and then I wouldn't let my mascara dry for long enough. And then I get mascara like underneath my eye from where I sprayed the setting spray and I just can't be bothered with that. So I do my mascara afterwards and it just makes my life easier. <laughs> so Right, 
The mascara I'm using at the moment is the Too Faced Best in Sex Waterproof. And I just take that. Some excess product off it. I feel like it works so much better if you do this. If you, if you use this mascara. Oh, I'm going to try and not get anything on my bedspread. I literally just changed my bedspread last night. And I've already spilled makeup on it. Like today I actually put some effort into um, like looking okay for 9am, that's going to last for like a week and then I'll be like going to my lectures in sweatpants. And last but not least I am doing my lips and I'm using the NYX lip liner in Peekaboo Neutral. So just to line my lips, I don't like overline my lips or anything, I just line them. I tried overlining my lips once and I ended up looking like a clown, so we're not doing that again. <laughs> now I'm using the MAC lipstick in Hot Gossip. Hot Gossip. That was that sound. Hot Gossip. Oh wow. Oh yeah, I'm on cheese already. <laughs> I feel like I'm one of those people who always has lipstick on their teeth. So I always tell people, tell me if I have lipstick on my teeth because I just always do. So I already do. Right. <laughs> After I do that, I hope that I don't get any more lipstick on my teeth. But I mean, I always do somehow just inevitable for me. Good. It'll do, it'll do. Okay, <laughs> that's my makeup done. So my original plan for today was that I was gonna curl my hair, but I can't bother to do that. So I'm just gonna like brush it out and have it natural, which might, oh my God, there's so much hair on this brush. As I was saying, <laughs> um, my hair's naturally straight, so I just kind of leave it like that. I need to wash my hair tonight. That's that. Anyway, so that is my finished hair and makeup. So this is my outfit. I'm sorry that my room is a little bit of a mess, but it's fine. So anyway, this denim jacket is from Mango. My top is from New Look and this is a homemade skirt that my mum made me and then I'm just going to be wearing some white converse and that is my outfit. It's pretty kind of normal, casual but it'll do. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to comment below and also subscribe if you haven't already. So yeah, never stop dreaming and I'll see you next time. Bye.